All right, hey, welcome to Five Years Late. Thanks for tuning into this video. We're gonna be talking today about buzzing, right? We're gonna try and keep this video nice and short and within the five minute context, so let's get right down to business, right? Buzzing has to do with, right, and instruments, you know, that use something like this, right? That are in, you know, you know, stuck to the end of your of your instrument, right? Now, what these are called? These are called mouthpieces, right? So you have some that are, you know, for French horn, for example. You have this one here, which is for trumpet, right? But you also have other instruments, for example, like trombone, or you have tuba, right? But the basic science of how the buzz works is always the same, right? It is the passing of air through your lips, creating vibration as air is passing through the lips. If you've ever been like me or anybody else where you've gone to the store and you wash your hands in the bathroom and there's uh, an accelerated, very fast blowing uh, air dryer, right? And you put your hands together as you're drying and then the air passing between your two hands uh, kind of forces your hands to stay within a certain proximity of each other and it actually makes kind of a buzzing sound going between your two hands, right? That actually is the same effect that we do with our lips inside these mouthpieces, right? It's a buzzing, it's the creating of frequency, vibration by passing air through your lips between two different things, right? The, the two different pieces are essentially oscillating together as air is passing between them and that creates pitch, right? So, but what, you know, the way we can describe this, right, without that context is this essentially horsey lips, right? Or at least that's one way to think about it. That happening at a much, much faster rate is essentially what buzzing is with the instrument. How do we accomplish this, right? Well, to start, right, you, you know, it doesn't really matter what instrument you, you're doing, right, because the idea is the same, right? But, you know, you wanna go ahead and start with whatever mouthpiece it is. You don't need the instrument, right? If you can't buzz without the instrument, you're not gonna be able to buzz on the instrument, right? So there's no point in even actually starting with the instrument. Take just the mouthpiece. It doesn't even matter which one, you know, just pick a mouthpiece and go ahead and try it out, okay? So there's inside, there's a cup. Right, and so as you look here, there's the edge on the top, right? And inside you can tell that there's a little bit of a dip, right, in there. So your lips are gonna go together, right? And with trumpet mouthpieces, I think the general idea is that you want it about 50% of the top lip, 50% of the bottom lip, right? So you're gonna put those lips together, mm, right? And you're actually gonna go ahead and already tighten up the corners of your mouth by making the sound, mmm, mmm, right? And so that shape, of having the two corners kind of puckered, almost like you got something sour in your mouth, is kind of the basis for this, right? So you start with that, mmm, and you're gonna notice that there's a focal point right here in the middle with your lips, and you're gonna put that focal point, right, into the cup, and you wanna try and make it so that your lips are touching the back of the cup. There's a nice little hole right in there, right? And you wanna feel like the middle of your lips, the direct center, is gonna to touch that hole a little bit. Right? Now you don't want to be at this point pressing your lips together really, really tight. Right? You want them to be touching, you don't want them to be pressed together necessarily. Right? Vibration is stifled by tension. If you press really hard, you will not get a lot of vibration out to start and or it'll be very sputtery and just not very focused. Right? So we're gonna try this out. Right? Lips together, just touching, kinda mmm in that shape, not with tension, mm, just without tension, okay? Put that inside the mouthpiece, mm, mm. And then take air in, well, you breathe before you do this, or air in from the corners, the side, like that. And then you're just gonna go ahead and blow into it. The buzz should actually happen pretty naturally, right? As long as you're not trying to force the lips together really, really hard, Right? The vibration should happen naturally. Now, things to look out for. You don't want your cheeks to puff out, right? Because your cheeks puffing out like this doesn't allow the air to focus. It doesn't allow the flow of air through your mouth to focus, okay? Now, all you wanna try and do is get any sound whatsoever. It doesn't matter what sound it is, but you wanna get something to come out of the actual mouthpiece here, okay? So we do that again. And you want to try and hold that stable, right? For, let's just say like eight seconds, right? So nice big breath. Right? 
you want to hold that stable for something along the lines of eight seconds. You don't have to count, you know, or snap out loud while you do that. It just so happens that I'm kind of used to that. That buzz sounded a little bit airy to me, right? So I'm going to go ahead and go for one more. I was getting some warm up there, right? Let's achieve a better sounding buzz. Ready? Right, so it was a little bit better buzz, a little bit unstable at times, but you get the idea. You want the sound, whatever comes out the first time, doesn't matter which one it is, whether it's high, low, you just want the sound to come out, and you want to try and hold it as stable as you can. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and do the same thing. That was a trumpet mouthpiece. Right? Now, the French horn mouthpiece has a much different shape. Right? And you're going to notice this, that the shape of the mouthpiece on the inside, mostly with, in terms of the cup right so how far down essentially that hole is right to the top rim of the mouthpiece is going to be a lot different on different mouthpieces right you check out this one you notice that it's very shallow it's not very far away right so trumpet has a very shallow bowl it's only probably about that deep right as opposed to french horn having probably one that's like about that deep so it's probably about double the distance between the rim and you know the hole in the back which we call the bore okay but here's the same thing with the french horn mouthpiece for example you're gonna notice they have a different kind of timbre to each other right they have timbre meaning sound quality right what kind of what kind of sound you're getting so let's hear the both two back to back all right trumpet mouthpiece all right there's kind of a brighter more in your face tone with that let's try the french horn one sounds a little bit more mellow right a little bit smoother to me right all in all right and so there you go that really concludes our first video that's just how to get the buzz right you know at later time we'll go more into you know each instrument individually and talk about you know what to do with them what fingerings all that stuff like that but for today we're just talking about buzzing in general maybe in a later video we can introduce trombone mouthpiece or tuba mouthpiece and that let me just say literally feels exactly like just <laughs> horsey lips sometimes when you're blowing into those mouthpieces because the cup is so wide right so but that concludes the video for today thank you for joining in for five years late um, stay tuned for later videos on more mouthpieces and more instruments to learn you know there will be things on saxophone there will be things on the violin there will be things on trumpet french horn percussion some marimba snare all those things there will be videos on all of those later on um, but stay tuned for those you know leave a comment in you know leave a comment below if there's an instrument that you would really like to see specifically and maybe i can bring that one up to the top of the list to see first right and then uh, you know subscribe if you want to see more of this all right thanks for stopping by five years late see you next time